This brand new ChatGPT feature is a look into the future. OpenAI just released the ability for ChatGPT to access applications directly. So what does this mean? This means you can now work inside of your application on your Mac and ChatGPT has direct context to what you're working on. No longer do you need to copy and paste or screenshot what you see to ChatGPT. ChatGPT now has capabilities to see what you're working on in that app. But there is one catch. As of now, this only has access to certain certain coding apps on your Mac. In this video, I'm gonna go over this news and show you why this is gonna change the game when it comes to interacting with AI. All right, let's go to directly to Twitter where they just released this news. If we come over to OpenAI's Twitter account, they just posted this video that shows that ChatGPT can now use VS Code, Xcode, Terminal, and iTerm2. So essentially, ChatGPT for Mac OS can now work with apps on your desktop. In this early beta for Plus and Team users, you can let ChatGPT look at coding apps to provide better answers. So instead of having to copy and paste code in our apps, it actually could automatically have access to the app and see everything we can see and we can talk directly with ChatGPT and this will save us a bunch of time. And I'm gonna talk further in this video why I think this is absolutely game changing. First of all, let's take a look at this example. That for macOS, the ability to work directly with the applications on your computer. So imagine I'm building an iPhone app and I have my Xcode project open here. Previously, I would have had to copy my code back and forth from Xcode into ChatGPT. Well, now with this new integration that I enabled, I can click the Xcode button here and ChatGPT can immediately see the Swift code I'm working on. Check out this example. So OpenAI 01 first created this entire app from scratch to track the ISS and astronauts in space in real time. But say I want to add a new feature to this app. I can simply write, add a new screen in the center with the live stream. Now ChatGPT has the context about my existing Swift code and starts suggesting the changes. Basically, this person asked ChatGPT a question about this application they're interacting with, and they didn't have to copy and paste it because it had access to the screen in order to see the context of what he was talking about in his app. This is something before we would have had a screenshot or copy and paste what we see. So this creates massive opportunity with the next releases with ChatGPT because eventually we're gonna get to the point where it could actually do certain tasks on our computer like Anthropic's computer use that came out a couple of weeks ago. This is the first step for ChatGPT in the ChatGPT desktop app to do these certain things and that's why it's so mind blowing. Let's continue with this video. That's done, so I can just jump back in and update the code. Let's build the app. So it looks like currently it obviously can't do the code and actually access the screen, but it just has a context. So he has to actually copy and paste what ChatGPT gave it back to this application here. Let's go in R. Great, it's pretty cool, update. I'm gonna switch to the terminal and I'm gonna now ask ChatGPT to work with my terminal. I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to help me push this on GitHub. Now, given that ChatGPT has the context of the two apps, Xcode and the terminal, ChatGPT can help write commit messages based on the work we've just done. It can also help troubleshoot errors if you have any or install missing dependency. So it looks like you would actually enable multiple applications at the same time to kind of interact with each other. So this is a quick little demo and I wanna talk about more why this is so impactful. I'm gonna quickly show you this post by Rowan Chang on X because I follow this guy, he has some awesome content and this summarizes it real quickly. ChatGPT can now use your apps on Mac. This is probably a first step toward ChatGPT seeing everything on your computer and having full control as an agent. So eventually we're gonna to get to a point where ChatGPT acts as an agent where it could actually perform certain tasks on our computer for us. That is like AGI. That is when AI could actually perform tasks on a computer like a normal human can and maybe even be better than a human. What we need to know, it can write code in Xcode and VS Code. It can make a git commit to terminal if you give it permission, of course. Available right now to Plus and Team users, coming soon to Enterprise and EDU. It's an early beta, so this is very, very early on. Uh, the fact that we can only use it for VS and Xcode, really it's only impactful for developers. Apparently the OpenAI team has been building towards this for almost a year, which makes sense because this is the direction with where we're going with AI. We're gonna have agentic systems that can actually perform tasks on our computer for us. Again, the next step beyond this would be to allow ChatGPT to control, see and control your desktop as an agent. Bloomberg just reported that this agent called the operator will re be released in January. So 
the operator is one of these new features that ChatGPT is gonna release in January, apparently to some sources. So I think this is setting the runway for ChatGPT's operator to come in and act as a full agent that has access to our computer, kind of like Anthropic's computer use, which is in very much beta stages at this point in time. I think the point of this video is to show that this feature is the beginning stages of what is to come with OpenAI and their new releases and different new releases from these different AI companies that are obviously leading to agentic systems inside of our computers. This news literally just came out. I haven't even had time to play around with this. So if you want to download this, make sure you have the newest version of ChatGPT downloaded on your computer. Personally, I do not have access to this yet. Inside of my ChatGPT, as you can see, it is not down here. But if you have the ChatGPT app downloaded and you have access, you should be able to see a little tab down here where you could give access to these certain applications on your computer. Again, this is only for certain coding apps. As of now, as this is very, very early on beta status for this feature, but coming soon should be the ability to access multiple different applications on our MacBooks. This is some crazy news, guys. Things are moving so quickly. If you guys want to follow along and learn more about AI, just like this for non-technical people subscribe to the youtube channel i'm going to be covering all these new tools as they release so you can use them in your everyday life and for your business so see you guys in the next video